What's going on everyone? My name's Pattis, and if there's a few things that I love in this world, it's making videos, the Pokemon series, and food. And I found the perfect way to fuse all of those together. Recently we've been doing, or ever since Pokemon Sword and Shield came out, we've been doing videos making the curries from the games. Now last time we did the whipped cream curry, which was not a success. Cream on a curry, here we go. But, oh wait, wait, do I need to like break the seal or something? Do I to, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, okay, 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 we're good to go. That is weird. And I want it to go even further beyond. So this time, we're gonna make some cheesy curry. Some very cheesy curry. Now, there are some cheeses that go with curry and most that just kind of don't. And we're gonna be trying like a bunch of different kinds. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. But if you guys would like to see more curry videos, go ahead and hit that like button. If we have enough support on this video, then I'll do more in the future. That's just how it works on YouTube. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. A thousand likes on this and we'll do more curry videos, but it's a little bit early on. It's about 10 to 8 in the morning. I wake up usually about like half seven every day, basically. So let's go and get breakfast, I guess? So good morning. I'm currently recording this on my phone camera because who cares? But welcome to my humble abode. It's a wee bit messy because I live here by myself and who cares, man? You think I'm gonna clean this up for a video? No, absolutely not. But it is time for breakfast. And I don't know why I started recording this video so early, but I'm gonna show you what I usually have for breakfast every morning. All right, breakfast time in the pet house. So what we got here, for, oh, crumbs. Uh-oh, we can't have crumbs on there. All right, you know what? You know what, someone's gonna complain about this. A bloody hoover up then, will I? Moments later. All right, the crumbs have been exterminated. And what we have here, is a little bit of oatmeal. If you don't know, I love oatmeal. I have oatmeal for breakfast pretty much every day. But what do we have in the oatmeal? How do we spice it up? How do we make it interesting? We actually have ourselves some oats. We have ourselves some chia seeds, some cinnamon protein powder, some almond milk. And uh, after I throw this in the microwave for a bit or a bob, I'm gonna go ahead and toss in some banana and uh, syrup. Yeah, syrup. So let's get it in there, shall we? Go on. Wait, 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 take. Let's take, take, take the spoon out. All right, now we can cook it. Yes. Cook, my pretty. You can even see my reflection. Hello. So I have oats for breakfast pretty much every single day. Um, it's just my favorite thing in the world. Do you have a routine for breakfast? Because it's got to be oats for me. Some people don't eat breakfast at all. And I'm just like, man, it's so good, though. It's so freaking good. I'm, I'm, I look forward to this every morning. But what's your, what's your breakfast routine, though? What's your breakfast? Let me know in the comments. Do you, do you have banana? Do you have eggs and bacon? I, I, you know what I like. You know what I. Guys, I messed up. Hello! So now that we've ruined our breakfast, it's time to get on to- don't mind that, that- that was the kettle. It's time to get on to actually making our curry. So welcome to Pat's Kitchen. Now the first thing you're gonna need is a teaspoon of but- sorry, a tablespoon of butter. Here's one I made earlier. And we're gonna go ahead and start- I wish there was something tall enough in my kitchen that I could put my camera on and have it actually be high- like head height because I'm this tall, but if I'm talking to you like this, it doesn't look very good, so I have to squat at all times. And I mean, I love squatting, but it's a little bit ludicrous. Now, we're gonna make a, what we're gonna make is a chicken and cheese curry. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna do it in a slow cooker, so it's gonna be cooking all day. It's gonna be getting all that juices, all that fragrances. It's gonna be fantastic. So we have our chicken at the ready with some garlic on the side. And uh, let's, let's get this underway, shall we? First thing you need to do, activate the flames. Now, the flames are very dangerous, so don't touch the flames, they're hot. And add the butter directly to the pan. Bang! Now it's on the pan, it's gonna get nice and oiled up there. Mmm, can't you smell that butter? Now we're gonna wait for that to melt a little bit. We're gonna throw on the chicken. This is taking a long time to melt. Am I using too much butter? Am I gonna clog my arteries? I guess we'll find out. As now we have to add the chicken. So you just, just, just throw it on there. There you go. Get all of, no, I added the garlic too early. Oh, jeez. Okay, no, it should, it should be fine. The garlic, the, that, that, that should be absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. You need to like get the, the chicken juice off my hands right now. Can I like pick out the garlic? I don't want the garlic in there yet. Garlic, come home. I got, I got some. It's not supposed to be added yet. All right, I'm using chicken thigh because the chicken thigh is the best part of the chicken. All of that juicy dark meat is in there. And if there's one thing I do love, it's juicy dark meat. 
All right, now that we've been cooking that away for about 180 seconds, we can add the shallots. Now, it's the apocalypse, so I don't have any shallots, but I do have some frozen red onion, which is basically the same thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Oh yeah, let's, let's get it, yeah, let's get it in there. I don't know, I don't know how much we're supposed to put in. Like that, that's probably good though, honestly. And we also add the garlic. It's time for the garlic to go in, as well as the ginger. Uh, which I, wait, the ginger? So I have this recipe here, and it keeps telling me to gently cook it. Gently cook it, and then gently cook. Like, what kind of madman does this instructions think I am? Cook, damn you! Cook! Now we're at the part where we can add the spice blend. Wow! Look at the spice blend! I could just eat this. I won't, though. What do we have in the spice blend? We have ourselves some coriander, some garam masala. So what did I put in this? Chili powder, um, turmeric, I think? Cumin, I put cumin in there. Uh, and some other stuff too. There's, there's some other stuff. Anyway, it's a spice blend. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and throw that on. Are you ready for flavor? Cause here it comes, bang! The fl and the flavor is there. Brilliant. All right, we have added in some chopped tomatoes and some stock, and I'm gonna do the fabled taste test, because every good chef needs to taste uh, their food before they serve, right? So just a little bl blow, a little, give a little blowy blow. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's got a good spice to it. That's actually good. Now this is gonna go in the slow cooker and kind of just chill out there for eight hours. So let's do the transfer process now, shall we? I mean, honestly, like, it looks pretty good. And then we just transfer it into the slow cooker as you do. Don't spill any, Daniel. There we go. Come on, get, get in. Oh my God, I chose a really bad angle for this. Get in the fr- Jesus Christ, are you serious? Get it in. All of it. It all needs to go. All right, the curry is now in the slow cooker and it's gonna be big chill in there for about, yeah, eight hours. Just where's the lid? Where's the, where's the lid? So it turns out I'm a massive idiot and forgot the one ingredient that this video was literally all about, which is cheese. This is a paneer cheese. I was supposed to put that in, in there, but you know, I, I remembered, it's okay. So we're gonna, gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Oh God, wow, that was, okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of steam right there. I'm gonna go ahead and make God in you get in you get God buddy you got why do I pick this terrible angle every single time I swear to God so we're almost ready we're almost there the curry is looking pretty amazing it's in here where we're good but it says to add a little bit of spinach and I've got some spinach here but unfortunately I don't speak American. And it's said to add three cups. I don't know how much that is, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. So here we go. Um, let's try and, there we go. Yeah, that's probably about, yeah, that's probably about three cups. Now you may have been wondering this entire time what exactly the cheese is that we're going to be using today. Well, it's not any just one cheese. It's not just the paneer that we have in there. We already know the paneer goes well in curry. Uh, it remains to be seen if this curry is actually nice, but we'll see. We're actually using five, is it, is it five? Five different types of cheese. We have ourselves a, a nice cheddar right here. We have ourselves some shredded mozzarella. Oh uh, wait, oh there's cheddar and mozzarella, it's a cheese blend. Okay, well there's, there's some mozzarella in there. We have ourselves some red Leicester cheese and we have ourselves some wonderful, absolutely incredible uh, grana the pa Pardano, which is kind of like a Parmesan. So it's more like a stronger cheese. So we got a lot of different cheeses to try. And we're gonna see which one is the best, but we have to use our control method first. So we have to get the, the baseline. And yes, I am wearing a dressing gown. I'm in my own house, shut up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly grab some of the paneer out of here. And we're gonna try it and see how it tastes. So this is the paneer. Oh, that, there's there's the camera. There's the the paneer cheese right there. You can see it looks looks pretty good. It's covered it in the curry. It looks very nice. It's got a little bit of chicken on it. Hmm. Yeah, paneer is very good. It almost has like a rubbery texture, which is really interesting. But it has like a, a very almost meaty taste to it. It's very like wholesome. It's very hearty. It's very stuck in my throat right now. So that is the control. That's a pretty good, I'd give that like an eight out of 10. Now let's see how the other cheeses can stack up to the paneer. Okay, first up we have 
the Red Lester. Here we go. Oh, it's so stringy. It's got, it, it wins the string factor. It's got the string factor on there. We got the Red Lester on there. Jesus Christ. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Mm. Wow. All I got was the cheese there. That was a lot of cheese. Let's try another bite here. You know, I never really thought about having Red Lester cheese on a curry before, but I don't hate this. I don't hate that at all. I give that maybe like a five. It's really weird, but it's still the worst thing in the world. Let's try a little bit of the cheddar. Oh, that does not fit. In fact, there's a weird saltiness about that. Not a whole lot of the cheddar taste coming. No, wait, there it is. Yeah, the cheddar taste comes at the end. It just disagrees with each other. The cheddar's like punching the curry in the face saying, no, don't ever do this to me ever again. No, not a fan of that one. That one gets like a three. Did not like it. All right, it's time for the next two cheeses. First off, we have the mozzarella. Oh, got a lot of string on that. Okay, got a nice stringiness on that. Let's see how it tastes, shall we? Hmm. That's weird, you know, mozzarella doesn't really have much of a taste to it. It makes it like weirdly chewy, which is not the right kind of texture you want to go for with a curry. Honestly, it's very, very mild taste. It makes it super like stringy, as you saw before. Like it's got a weird stringiness to it right there. Oh, there's the taste. Uh, the mozzarella taste, unsurprisingly, doesn't really go with the curry all that well. I still think it's not as bad as the cheddar, though. I put it just above the cheddar. And then we have, last but not least, the, uh, the, what's it called? The Grand Parma, the Grand, the Grand Padano. Whatever, you saw it before, the Grand Padano. It's most, I guess this would be like the most flavorsome one, but let's see if we can actually detect it here. Hmm, I'm not really getting that at all. I am not really getting that at all. Maybe I just didn't put enough in, but it, that just tastes like a normal curry. Maybe I didn't put enough in there. That just that just doesn't really taste like anything at all. Probably need a little bit more. But when it comes to the rankings, unsurprisingly, Pinier is still the best. Closely followed by Red Leicester. And then I guess this stuff, because the Grando Pardo, because it was basically nothing. Then we'll have the mozzarella. And last but not least, we have the cheddar by itself. So if you're looking for a cheese to add to your curry, just stick with paneer because why would you add anything else? Don't put cheese in your curry unless it's supposed to be there. That is my conclusion. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do leave a like and also follow me on Instagram. I post there every day. And remember, if you'd like to see more curry videos in the future, then hit that like button. I like making these curry videos. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I like making cooking videos in general. And I hope that you enjoy watching them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. A thousand likes, boys. Here we go. Thank you so much to our Twitch subs and YouTube members of the day. Remember, if you are a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber, that both gives you access to the sub Discord. And I appreciate you supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys.